Now time for another story about the people who make Adelaide tick. Tonight we meet a very passionate and dedicated teacher who's making science fun for all students. This may look like any other high school classroom, but something very special is happening here. Every one of these students has learning difficulties. We have all sorts of students here. We have some with Down syndrome, we have severe and multiply disabled students, we also have students with autism. But that hasn't stopped any of them from discovering that... Science is fun! And it's all thanks to Anita Trenworth. Okay, he saw this on YouTube and he assures me it's safe, so let's have a go. Anita has been a teacher at Salisbury High School for 11 years. What we have here is methane gas, and obviously that's quite flammable, so we're going to get a bit of a bubble here. Okay, ready? Okay, now like they say, don't do this at home, do it at your friend's house. Oh, ah, only kidding. <laughs> but after noticing a lack of specialised science programs for kids like these, she switched her focus to special education. Yeah, I saw a opportunity to do something more exciting with the science side of things because it was more of a show and tell type of science prior to that and I said well we can do much more hands on things, we can make it much more interactive. That's where a lot of the problems are with the literacy side of things so I've rewritten workbooks to have very low literacy involvement so they can work a lot of the answers out without needing in extensive amounts of reading and writing. The key to learning, Anita says, is fun. Look, there you go, have some slime. <laughs> and the results are speaking for themselves. We had our first group of students last year involved in the Northern Advanced Manufacturing Industry Group project and they produced a wireless internet camera and this year we've got our second class involved in that. We've also got the senior class this year actually teaching the junior class and they're running science experiments that they research on the internet and things like that. What was your favourite experiment, Daniel? The elephant, the elephant's toothpaste. How does that work? Um, we mixed the chemicals together, sprite went up, link the um, people's hands and then get zapped. Jessica, what's your favourite experiment? Miss, 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 miss Chenwick getting lighted up. <laughs> the students are now participating in mainstream science activities like the Science and Engineering Challenge. We had the first ever group at the Science and Engineering Challenge, so we actually had a group of special ed students competing at that, and that's a mainstream event predominantly run across Australia. And out of the eight schools in their category, they actually came second. And they're teaching each other. It's inspiring the younger students because they're seeing their friends who are older teaching them, and it's inspiring them. They're all talking about it in the yard and saying, oh, what experiment are you going to do next week? So it's creating a lot of buzz about the interest in science and basically just making it fun. It's for this reason Anita was recently awarded South Australia's School Science Educator of the Year. It was an absolute buzz on the night and especially when they had the video, they had some footage that they'd taken of my students doing experiments and to know that, for example, Bradley, who does not like doing things in front of other people, all of a sudden he's up there on this big screen at the Hilton demonstrating his experiments. It's just fantastic. It was a real buzz. But clearly it's not the recognition that keeps her going. I found my passion for teaching when I moved into special ed a few years ago and I've just found it so enjoyable because they always try whatever we've we've built a culture that disability is not an excuse it's a reason to work harder at our school and they're certainly very focused on giving it a go Doing it for the kids. they're actually reaching levels that i didn't even anticipate because they're so willing to try and to have a go and to do the research and get involved in it Looks like fun. A very inspiring lady. And if you know someone like Anita who is doing good things in their community, we'd love to hear about them. Please send us an email via our website or you can just give us a call. Well, after the break, the future looks as safe as houses for Lockie, the seven-year-old real estate guru.